Hey guys, hope you're doing well. This is Zainab Zaytun. Uh, hope you're liking my videos. In this one, I'll be explaining similar triangles for grade 9. The objectives of this video are to define similar triangles, determine the ratio of similitude, determine properties and conditions of similar triangles, and finally solving exercises on similar triangles. First, what are similar triangles? So let's just try to discover them together. Look at these triangles. Is there anything special about them? You can see that this might be isosceles triangle, this might be right triangle, this is an acute triangle, and this is an obtuse triangle. But is there anything in common between them other than being triangle? Let's look back at the first slide. Look at these triangles. Is there anything in common between them? Actually, you should have noticed that they have exactly the same shape, but they differ by size. Let's have a closer look on GeoGebra. Look carefully at this triangle ABC. I'll be enlarging this triangle and reducing this triangle. What do you notice about this triangle? Don't you notice that they all have the same shape but different size? Now these are similar triangles. These are called similar triangles. When you have triangles with exactly the same shape but different size, you call them similar triangles. You can also visit this, this website to see more similar triangles. I'll open it very quickly. So this is the website. Uh, these are two similar triangles. You can change the shape of this triangle, for example, in the way you want. And this triangle will automatically be changed in the same way. So they'll stay similar triangles. As you can notice this, they have exactly the same shape. So triangles are similar if they have the same shape but can be different sizes. But this definition, as you can see, it's not accurate. So you can't just say that these two triangles are similar, are similar because they have the same shape. What if they differ a bit by their shape, but you can't notice that? So that's why we need more accurate definition. Now, if you're already bored by this video, you can just stop it and count the similar triangles in this figure. So definition or properties of similar triangles. Now, if you have these two triangles, uh, which are similar, so ABC and KML are similar triangles, then all the angles are equal, so ACB is equal to KML, CAB is equal to MKL, and CBA is equal to MLK. So corresponding angles are equal. The second property is that the sides of the first triangle are respectively proportional to the sides of the other triangle. Notice that they aren't they shouldn't be equal. They might be equal but not necessarily equal. So what do we mean by proportional? So AB for example over KL should be equal to BC over LM should be equal to AC over km should be equal to a number a constant which we call it which we denote it by k and it's called the ratio of similitude and this is called the ratio of similarity also now this is an important remark if you know the corresponding angles how would you know the corresponding sides because sometimes they might be confusing so on a scratch paper write the corresponding angles so in this triangle we know that a corresponds to which angle to angle K and C corresponds to M and B corresponds to L so I will just try two for abbreviation so these are the corresponding angles now in order to write the ratio of similitude just look at one of the triangles for example this triangle so the side AC, how do I know the corresponding side of AC? So I look at the corresponding angle of A, which is K, and the corresponding angle of C, which is M. So the corresponding side of AC would be KM. So choose another side, for example, AB, since the corresponding angle of A is K, and the corresponding angle of B is L then the corresponding, the corresponding side of AB would be KL, and so on. Now let's look closer on the ratio of similitude and area of triangles. So I'm using the same previous example and the same triangles, and you're still given that ACB and KML are similar triangles. So since they are similar triangles, so the ratio of similitude K is AB over KL, 
which is equal to BC over LM, which is equal to AC over KM. These are corresponding sides, as we did before in the previous slide. And it's equal to a number, which is called the ratio of similitude. Uh, now, what about this number? If this number is greater than 1, then ABC, which corresponds to the sides in the numerator, so the triangle that corresponds to the sides in the numerator, is an enlargement of KLM, which is the triangle that corresponds to the sides in the denominator. If K is less than 1, then ABC is a reduction of KLM. And if K is equal to 1, this means that ABC and KLM are congruent. What does this mean? So this means that any two congruent triangles are also called similar triangles, but not, but not any similar triangles are called congruent triangles. This is also a remark about the areas. So if you have that ABC and KLM are similar triangles, then the area of ABC would be K squared, the area of KLM, where K is written here. Let's do a quick recap on this objective because before I go to the other objective. So if you have that the two triangles are similar, then you know that all the angles are equal and you know that the corresponding sides are proportional and that you have this ratio. Now, what if you're asked to prove similar triangles? So you have three methods to do so. The first method is the angle-angle method, which means that you need to prove that two corresponding angles are equal. So, for example, if you have these two triangles, then you have that ABC is equal to FDE is equal to 72, and ACB is equal to DEF, which is equal to 35 degrees, then these two triangles are similar by angle-angle. Don't use this abbreviation in the optional exams. Now the other method is side side side. It's not the same as congruent triangles when you need to, to prove that the three sides are equal. Here you need to prove that the three sides of one triangle are respectively proportional to the three sides of the other triangle. What does that mean? So, so in other words, you need to prove the ratio of similarity. So this is an example. This is a direct application. So is using the side side method. So when you have the measurement of all the sides of the two triangles, then this method will work. So you'll try if the ratio of similitude holds here. How do you know the corresponding sides? So logically, the smallest side here would correspond to the smallest side here, the largest side here would correspond to the largest side here, and the one which is left here corresponds to the side which is left here. So we will try. Let's try. RP over US will give you 8 over 12, which is 2 over 3. PQ over UT is 6 over 9, which is also 2 over 3. PQ over ST is 10 over 15, which is again 2 over 3. So PR over SU is equal to RQ over UT is equal to PQ over ST is equal to 2 over 3. Again, this is the ratio of similitude. Then ABC and DFE are similar triangles by side-side-side method. The last method is side angle side. An angle of one of the triangles is equal to an angle of the other triangle, and the two sides supporting the angles are respectively proportional. What do we mean by two sides supporting the angle? So suppose that we're saying that B is equal to E, then the two sides supporting B is AB and CB, and the two sides supporting E are DE and FE, and this is also a direct application on this method. So if you have these two triangles, so you have the measurement of this side and this side. Here you have the measurement of this side and this side and the angle in between. So you will use side angle side method. So you have that ABC is equal to EFG is equal to 45 degrees. And now you have that EF over AB is 6 over 3, which is 2. And the GF over CB is 10 over 5, which is also 2. So EF over AB is equal to GF over CB is equal to 2. Then these two triangles are similar by side, angle, side. Most of the times you'll be using the angle, angle method. Now we'll do an exercise taken from the official exams. 
So this is uh, exercise taken from 2018 first session. I deleted a lot of parts which we don't need. So consider this figure. C is a semicircle of diameter AB and center O and radius 6 cm. The perpendicular bisector of AB intersects C at D. E is a point on the segment OD so that OE is 4 cm and AE intersects C at F. So I advise you to pause the video and read it again carefully. Now reproduce the figure. I'll skip this part. Verify that AE is equal to 2 radical 13. I also do this very quickly because it's not what we want in this chapter. So AE will obviously be done using Pythagoras theorem because AE O is a right triangle and OE is equal to 4 by given. OA is equal to 6 cm also given since it's the radius so you can get AE using Pythagoras. Part 3. Prove that AFB is a right triangle at F. A, F, B. The angle AFB is 90 degrees since it's an angle facing diameter. So it's a right triangle and you're done. Now these two parts that we're concerned of prove that the two triangles AOE and AFB are similar. So try to do it by your own. It might be it might it might not be easy for you because it's the first time. I'll give you a hint, use the angle angle method. Look again carefully at the triangles AO. E and A, F, B, you can notice that they have a common angle, which is A. So now we're done with the first angle. Now we need two another equal angles. There's also one another angle, which is very clear. A, O, E is right triangle, is right angle, because this is perpendicular bisector by given. And A, F, B is also equal to 90 degrees. Uh, we proved it in the previous part. So now we have that AOE is equal to AFB, which is equal to 90 degrees. So we're done. These two triangles are similar by angle-angle method. Now this is the solution of the part uh, that I just did. Now let's do the other part. So part C, deduce the value of AE times AF. Now you have that these two triangles are similar, so you can use the ratio of similarity. And always, always when you're asked about sides and you know that they are similar, use the ratio of similarity because it would be very helpful. Now how do we set the ratio of similarity? Again, as I said before, on a scratch paper, put the corresponding angles. So this, the, the triangles here are AOE and AFB. What are the corresponding angles? So from what we did in the previous part, we can know that O corresponds to F, O to F, and A to A because it's a common angle. So what's the left angle? It's E to B, E to B. So now to set the ratio of similitude, look at any triangle you want. So let's look at AOE. AOE, choose any side, for example, AO, then the corresponding side of AO would be FA, choose the other side, EO, the corresponding side of EO would be BF, and we're left with AE, the corresponding side of AE would be AB, so now you can set the ratio of similarity in the way I said. So this is the ratio of similarity. Now you will always use only two ratios. So let's look back at the part. You're asked about AE times AF. So you need AE and AF. So you will use this ratio and you apply cross multiplication. So AF times AE is equal to OA times AB. And you have that OA is 6 and AB is 12 by given. So you get 72 and you're done. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos. And again, if you have any questions, drop it down in the comment section. Bye!